is a high stakes game of chicken that is being played. Now all new at five concerns grow for Florida's cruise line industry despite approval from the CDC that allows them to set sail. Cruise liners are pointing the finger at Governor Ron DeSantis. He signed an executive order banning private companies from requiring vaccine passports in the state. And some say that puts the industry in danger. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us on Watson Island right now with why one cruise line is even threatening to leave Florida altogether. The CEO of Norwegian Cruise Line said if it doesn't work sailing out of Florida, their ships have rudders, motors, and propellers, and they can sail their business right out of the state. As cruise ships dock with no passengers here in the cruise capital of the world, port workers were thrilled when they got news that the CDC set guidelines for sailing again. We're just trying, one day at a time. One day at a time. Delandrius Jackson was eager to get back to work with cruise ships and passengers, making life easier for the family. It was like one big party when we heard that the CDC is letting us go back out and go on with our lives and make a living for our families. And then the news the other day from the governor, it just killed us. The CDC said ships can sail again with 98% of the crew vaccinated and 95% of passengers or conduct test cruises first. But Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill which bans anyone from asking for proof of COVID-19 vaccination. This is a high stakes game of chicken that is being played. Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava is growing more concerned with the governor's new rule, especially after the CEO of Norwegian Cruise Lines threatened to sail away. He said in part, if God forbid we can't operate in the state of Florida for whatever reason, then there are other states that we do operate from, and we can operate from the Caribbean for ships that otherwise would have gone to Florida. Well, the public is waiting. They will fly to other places to take cruises if we fail them, if we let this industry down, if we let our workforce down. At this point, I wonder, is he planning on suing himself? I mean, if he is the obstacle to reopening it now. Broward Mayor Steve Geller is urging the governor to reconsider his ban on vaccine passports, saying livelihoods and lots of money is at stake if cruise ships leave Port Everglades and Port Miami. I urge the governor to hopefully rescind his position on no vaccine passports, which I hate that phrase, but, um, but if he won't do that, then I urge him to at least make an exception for the cruise industry. Delandria's hopes something will give to get ships sailing again and an anxious workforce back on the job. I'm hoping just to get back out and go on with our lives. People to come back and start cruising from South Florida. We're cruise capital of the world and we hope to continue to be cruise capital of the world. Both county mayors are urging the governor to follow CDC guidelines, saying that's the federal agency that sets the rules. In Miami, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.